Hey YouTube, Skippy here, and today I am taking a break from the usual tutorial videos and I am bringing you an unboxing and short review of the Corsair Vengeance M65 gaming mouse. Uh, the M65 is an FPS style mouse with a dedicated sniper button. Uh, what that sniper button does is it allows you to drop the DPI instantly so that you can have more fine control over the movement of the mouse. That being said, this is an 8200 DPI mouse and you can control that DPI level on the fly using the buttons on the mouse and through the software that comes with it. So now that we've got the brief introduction of this out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the box itself. Okay, so as you can see, this is the box that it comes in. It is a very interesting triangular shape here. Uh, good packaging, um, very nice coloring, everything like that, but I'm not a marketing expert, so I'm not going to really get into that. Let's get into this thing. So it's not incredibly hard to get out, and I kind of like that. Um, all too often you get all this kind of stuff, and uh, it's really, really hard to get out of the packaging. Um, let's go look here. Got this extra paper, and this is the actual mouse itself. Um, on the top, it's a very nice, it's a smooth kind of matte plastic, uh, or almost a rubberized. But on the sides here, um, it's, you can't really see it, but it's a very grippy, different texture. So it seems like it would be really easy to hold on to. And I have smaller hands, uh, and it fits in my hand really well. It's really, really comfortable. I know sometimes with larger mice, I have issues with my pinky getting really tired. Uh, it doesn't seem like this is going to happen with this one. Uh, and you can see here, this is that sniper button, that DPI kind of clutch uh, right there underneath the thumb. You have your standard uh, two buttons here on the side, left and right click. This is your DPI control up here on the top. And a click wheel that has a really, really nice, it's got a rubberized top to it, but it's got a really nice definite click. Um, you can see, I don't know if you can really tell on the video, but it is a braided cable that comes with its own holder and a looks to be a USB 3 connection. Um, another thing about this one on the bottom here, it actually has weights, so you can remove these. And I think I'm going to need a. Uh, oh, no, I'm not. Just actually unscrew these guys and remove weight and put them back in. So you can control where your weight is and how heavy your mouse actually is with that. So that is definitely a big plus. Uh, as well in the box here, the only other thing that we have is a quick start guide for the mouse that is uh, very much just pictures. Turn computer on, plug mouse in, download software. Uh, seems to be what it's saying. Uh, so we will definitely be doing that. We'll take a look at the software here in just a couple of minutes. It also comes with Corsair's warranty guide. Um, and it is a two-year warranty out of the box on this. Other than that, just some plastic packaging. So really, really minimalistic in the actual box and packaging itself. So now that we've taken a look at that, let's go ahead and plug this guy in. Uh, we'll download the software, and we will play a couple games and see how everything feels. All right, so this here is the Corsair M65 software. This is the free software that comes with the mouse itself. You actually have to go to download it. But as you can see here, it's a pretty simple, straightforward software. Uh, you can individually control and assign and rebind all the keys on the mouse through here. Uh, you can set it up for macros. You can set it up for speed. You can set it up for a lot of different options. Uh, a lot of control there. You can record your macros through here. Uh, you can set up different profiles. Um, you can also control any other Corsair hardware or uh, peripherals that you may have. That's under the assigned buttons. Under manage performance, you can set your DPI and where each of the three DPI on the fly settings will sit. You can also set where your sniper button will be. Uh, you can change, you can test your service quality. As you can see, I tested mine, and it's not real great. It's probably because I'm using a flat black mouse pad right now. You can change your lift height, and you can change your report rate. So it gives you a lot of options there to go in and change exactly how you want the mouse to 
control. Uh, like I said, you can drain this up to 8,200 DPI. Uh, and then you also have a place where you can manage your profiles. So really, really simple software, easy to use, um, not a lot of jumble. So really no nonsense, straightforward, this is what it does, and it seems to, as of yet, it's worked really, really well for me. So that is it for the software itself. Let's take a look at how gameplay is with the mouse. Alrighty, so what better way to test out the FPS gaming mouse than to use the new Battlefield 4 beta. So this has not been a real great game for me as of yet, but oh shit. God damn it. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get my ass blown up. Oh shit. Well, I can't blame my bad game on the mouse at all. Um, it actually has very been actually been very responsive. Uh, it's easy to use. It fits the hand really, really well. Uh, especially if you're somebody like me who has smaller hands. That sniper button sits right underneath the uh, the thumb. It makes it really, really easy to use. Let's see if I can at least get around a little bit here. Oh man, like I'm just I'm so not used to this map and these controls. I've never played this before and I decided to record my first time. And oh shit, tank. Needless to say, I've died a lot more than I have killed. So I can't fault the mouse at all though. Like really, it's been what? I can take the elevator? Oh my god. Where's it? I assume this door's gonna open. No! Shit! Oh shit! Um. That was some spray and pray right there. Oh god, the snipers! There's snipers everywhere! Why are there so many of them? Oh my gosh. Get back that way. I only have RPGs. Oh, well, we lost, but hey, that's uh, that's how it goes sometimes. So other than that, mouse has been doing really well. So that's pretty much it. Um, did a couple games, showed the software. Um, overall, my impressions of the mouse have been very good. Uh, opening it up, it feels like it's very high quality made with the aluminum body, the different textures that they've used on it. Um, everything has been working really, really smoothly. Uh, I've had no issues with tracking, lifting, um, been very accurate, very responsive, and overall seems like a very high quality mouse and well worth the money. So overall, I'm going to go ahead and rate this mouse on a 4 out of 5 stars. Very good job and very, very solid product from the people there at Corsair. Again, this has been Skippy. If you like this and want to see a little bit more, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.